Welcome back everyone to Old Rule Blues. I'm your host, as you probably know by now, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, as you can see, we've gone to war with the Kaiser's Legion and uh, having a pretty good time. We've taken about seven casualties so far. Obviously, we're not that far into the war, but uh, we've done pretty darn well. We've killed about 400 of the Legion soldiers, which isn't too bad. This should go pretty quickly, actually, seeing as the Legion doesn't have that many soldiers. But, of course, I could be very wrong. We have a couple of comments to go through as well, but actually, how, what, what, what's the Legion about right now? They're doing air production. they got a lot of manpower. <clears throat> a lot of uh, energy cells, or fuel, and up to 114 divisions, which isn't really that much, but they do have a couple of allies too, like Hinta del Sol, and uh, two sons? Yeah, two sons probably. Oh, look at this. Hey, it's a good task force. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Oh, bomb gliders. All right, very, very nice. Let's go on, head on over there, and how about you guys go ahead and repair? Repairing can be a very good thing. <clears throat> now, I don't imagine this war lasting that long, like I said, so, are we going to war with anyone else? No. We have a non-aggression pack with these guys. No. Ah, uh, the 80s need to be taken out. I think we'll do the 80s next. Ah, uh, let's go back, back to the Yakuza, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh, god dang it. I hate it when that happens. Why does NCR... NCR. The Legion have to collapse when this happens. Please, why? And if anything... I don't even want to fight this war anymore, then. Because we're just going to lose territory if, uh... When we, you know, capitulate these guys. The fall flag stuff is good. But basically... All that territory should go to us. So with our field marshal here, savage leader, breakthrough is very, very nice. Um, anything else? Not really too much. You guys are all gonna die. Sonoran, very good, very good. Anything else down here? Oh, they really want to bomb the crap out of us. Another task force is gone by Hunter Dussel. Very good. Oh, should have guess if this was going to happen this time, I maybe should have went to war with. Uh, the Yak is a little bit sooner. Oh, wait, hold on. This actually hurts your population. Look at that. Brick housing? No. Oh, no, no. It does not hurt your population. No, population nomadic nomadicity. Nomadic city. Nomadicity. Huh. All right. That's different. Eight refugees have come to our state. So be it. Whatever. Come on, guys. Keep going. Please, please, please. For the love of God, do not let them... Um... Oh, Lannister's Legion is back. Please do not capitulate normally in this normal civil war fashion to someone else. Please just capitulate to us. I don't mind having the Sons of Kaisar alive, but like, oh yeah, also Texas is at war with them too, which new update, I guess, but Lannister's Legion is back. Oh. They're part of the faction. Oh, hold on. No, they're not. Uh, Lannister's Legion. They're fighting everyone else too, but they have the, the Kaisar's Legion focus tree. This is very confusing. I hope they get taken out so we don't get confused too much about this. There goes the Vice Royalty. Very good. But yeah, Texas is doing very well, as you can see. Very, very well. Um, how far do we have to capitulate these guys? They're not that far. Ooh, actually, if we capitulate the Kaiser's Legion, if we do it, do we get, take out everybody? Oh, I hope so, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. Where are our uh, motorcycles? We should have motorcycles here somewhere. Where are you guys at? You guys head down there. Go to Dove Creek. Just go straight up there. David Campy, everything for us. He's inspirational. Um, idiot savant. Yeah, we're still using infantry for the most part. Um, leader skill bonuses, spec ops, law keepers, enforcers, fire teams, experienced soldiers' losses. Recon can still be pretty good. Eh, I'm gonna go maybe go with some recon. Why not? And go rooted. Why not? Cool. All right, more technology. And we'll grab some. We want ballistics. So we'll go with HMGs. Nice. Sapphire so Warband is gone. I need to play Texas again sometime because it looks like they're doing quite well for themselves. And we'll do gun runner licensing. Our gun runners have quickly proven themselves as a superior weaponsmith in the wasteland. And more so, our recent efforts to fund them have put them into a position where they can sustain a far greater output in a reliable way. Efforts are already being made in Congress to make them the sole provider of firearms to the NCR's military. We only need to approve this motion. Infantry equipment gives more reliability and soft attack. Sign us up. Very good. Uh, let's see. Are you guys. Yeah, you are the ones going that way. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Texas is looking very strong. And Chickasaw Muskogee Co Coalition. Huh. Okay. Very cool. You guys are just kind of hanging out. I guess you guys can come around to the Yakuza Nation. Get ready. Go to war with them. Wouldn't be bad. And Hoss. Or Hoss. Uh, ninja. Uh, you are using special forces, so get that. That'd be really good. Nice. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? This, this is why, I, you know, that was one of the comments from the last video. Versus, 
if the person didn't like the NCR Civil War, or even just Civil Wars in general, and I hate this. I hate this so much. Why? Volpus lost. Or they didn't win. We won. They didn't win. We won. What the heck? I don't like it like this. Why is it like this? Why? If anything, we should get claims on the territory if we're like, at war with them already. Like, come on, man. That doesn't make any sense why they get all the territory. I know it's a civil war. But why did they get the territory when we were the ones who pushed so hard? Nah, that's just not cool. That is so not cool. We should do this. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, do they have Hoover Dam? No, let's see. We have Hoover Dam. Oh, man. God dang it. That. Well, at least the NCO is going to get looked at again, hopefully. I don't know, man. Like, even Kaiser's Legion, ha this is a, their. Uh, they already have a rework focus tree, so. That's still being in the game? I don't know, man. That 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 should have already been looked at, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just a part of the Civil War mechanics they have in the game, though. Let's see. Brook housing. Scrap jack. Sure, why not? Uh, since we're here, you might as well do that. We got a lot of PP. And someone said I wasn't going to core the divide again. Are you kidding me? Of course we're going to core the divide. Hopeville and Asheville. Hope, Hopeville and Ashton. Yes, please. Going to need some more people so we can go to war with more people. And we've got 50 days left. Eh, let's do another focus, shall we? Oliver's pet project. Oliver always figured that the NCR heavy troopers could play a pivotal role in fighting in Arizona. If we were to conquer a brotherhood outpost, we could, be con we could begin to constructing old sets of power armor to figure out how they work. Pretty good. Nice. <sighs> Fault this treacherous little snake. How much, how much, how much caps do we have? Um, well, about 2200. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, close that out. That's fine. Anything else down here? Power, iron, and eh, We can use that. Why not? Now we're still doing restore our naval air station weapons. Weapon station China Lake. How about naval base Ventura? Okay. Extremely good work. Give a free round of the bar to the team once they're back. Very nice. And close that one out and help them out here. Very good. Because the next we're just going to go to the War Volpus' Legion. They, they deserve to die, so. After we did all that. New Reno. What did we get? What? 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 Why didn't you... Why? I mean, I don't mind giving this to New Reno. Okay, well, that was a waste of political power then. This is this this episode has been a little wonky-wonky. Well, I guess we'll do that then. Hmm. Well, that's not cool, New Reno. Just... You should have invited us into the war, man. We'll help you out. We'll give you all the territory. I don't... I don't have to own this territory, so... Are you going to... I guess technically they don't need anyone else to join them either, so... There you go. Wow. That is, uh... That is so dumb. But these guys are all in which is nice. Yeah, uh... Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> See, you can have the territory. That's fine with me. Work to administration. Uh, I don't want to lose political power. They can have that for now. I guess... You know... Hmm... We'll go to war with them. You know what? I'm going to let our puppets deal with them first. We're going to justify, go to war with them, let our puppets push into them a little bit, and then we're going to just fully push into them. Because in the meantime, I might want to go to war with the 80s as well. They're looking a little bit too thick for the way they're looking at me. So we'll probably do that. Scrap shacks are nice. Let's grab some basic smell trees. And maybe we'll put you guys up here too. Cool. Oliver's pet projects. Followed up with what? All's good in the boneyard. Under the leadership of Allgood Murphy, the Boneyard has flourished in ways that were previously unthinkable. It's become a beacon of progress within the NCR, and to a lesser extent, the wasteland on the whole. We get more production, efficiency, growth, and factory output, more development, and a lot more political power, and we upgrade our political law. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just go ahead and do the war justification off-screen, and which I'll read a few more of these uh, focuses. The Hub prospers. The Hub is an enormous trading center, and its settlement is established in an old town relatively untouched by the Great War. Caravans are organized here, carrying goods in the north to the Shady Sands, Junktown, Mojave Wasteland, and south to the Boneyard, as well as Crimson Caravan HQ. The Crimson Caravan is the largest caravan outfit in New California, and quite possibly the entire Wasteland. The Crimson Caravan Company is one of the largest suppliers of the NCR's military-grade weaponry, and in an assortment of provisions and other equipment types. As they flourish, the entire economy is uplifted, so is it not best to give them a helping hand, as well as crime in the hub? The crime in the hub has been a concern for decades, with NCR officials often trying to crack down on it and bring it to an end. It holds up the economy in many ways, and yet the barons understand better than most that, in many ways, it is the heart of the hub's economy. Weapons, drugs, and all sorts of illegal activities keep the hub competitive. What they decide to do with it will change much about the city. Alright everyone, so, and I am back, and we are ready to go to war. Let's just call all of our allies in, 
and they can do all the pushing for us because Vulpus has 16 divisions and totally does not deserve all the Legion territory. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, in the meantime, uh, actually, we, uh, we'll send you guys down here too. We'll send you guys. We'll send the, the special forces down here and they can go die in a hole. Uh, well, not these guys, but the Vulpus can. Vulpus can. And then we gotta go to war with these guys. Well, we already started justifying them. Only 120 more days. 64 divisions, not bad. They got a lot of manpower and they're trying to beat up some Mormon people, but. We'll see how well they do, right? We'll see how well they do. Uh, let's go with that advanced mill trees. And we have 378 political power. And actually, something kind of cool happened. So remember last episode, we took out the Brotherhood of Steel, even though we gave them territory, but we took that territory back. Well, we can develop or settle Antioch, which is... There's Necropolis, too. So develop Santa Cruz. Um, Antioch. Oh, so this is part of normal Brotherhood of Steel territory. So Santa Antioch. Necropolis. Wait. Develop Santa Cruz, Antioch becomes a core. If we settle Antioch, then Necropolis becomes a core. Um, that seems a little bit odd. Uh, wait. Develop Santa Cruz. That's Santa, that's a little Santa Cruz. But then it goes to Antioch. Antioch, up there, goes down to Necropolis. So what about Santa Cruz, for realsies? Oh, well, whatever. That, that doesn't make any sense, but I guess sometimes it just doesn't have to, right? Cool. Uh, get some more stability, maybe? Eh, I'll do it anyways, why not? Anything here? Nope, that's probably enough for that. Anything else? Not too much. And we are trying to investigate rumors in Area 51, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we have some research we could do, too. Look at that. Oh, we did get refining mixture, mixture just because we need to come up here and do suicide pills. Nice. And our guys are all training up there, which is pretty nice. You guys are actually over here as well. Yeah, screw Vulpus. You don't deserve jack squat. And we're going to take everything we can from them, which would be nice. Scavenger's Triumph. Very nice. Bonus for naval technology. Why not use that immediately? Oopsie. Ah, there you go. Sales, sales, sales. Ooh, more stuff here. Scavenge PA. What do we have here? Nothing. Here, just make a lot of crowd control gear. Wait, we don't want that one. We want the rioter gear. Oh, that's even better. Even better than before. Very good. Takes too long to justify it as a NCR, but... I guess the NCR technically should not be justifying on other people, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Crimes in the hub? I think we already read this one before we faded in, faded out, so. Yep. Very nice. Hub crime, not bad. Senor Bakai. Dinta, Dinta, very cool. Oh, uh, we can probably read the one after that. The Rich Roads. As ever, the heart of the NCR is Shady Sands, and the establishment of a system of roads connecting any township to it will bring you both wealth and prosperity. To this end, the Barons seek to improve upon and perfect the trade routes that currently connect the hub to the capital, so that their investments may flourish. If you'd like to read about the traders from Hawaii, please go right ahead, but, uh, or support manpower, or stability and political power. Let's get some more political power. I like the political power. Thank you. And we only need three more divisions. I think this would be the max amount that we make for um, infantry. So, four, 20 groups, armies of divisions. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, Vulpus. There we go. Lug it. There you go. Cool. What happened to... Why are these guys independent now? Yeah, this civil war really needs to get looked at again. This doesn't make any sense. They're part of Kaizal's Legion, but neither them or the reservation are part of Kaizal's Legion. Or any Legion at all, so... Yeah, this is... Weird. Oh, but Shady Sands. Upgrade, yes please. The Anointed, very nice, very nice. And I do want to beat the crap out of the 80s, because we can. Oh, they took out the Mormons. Sleepers, huh? Maybe the Sleepers next, too. But then again, I do want to finish this campaign by at least going to war with Texas. And the, maybe the Crimson Acolytes have done very well, wow. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Refugees, 4,400 to come to our states. Uh, at this point, it's literally just taking out enemies here. We've killed, we've lost none, but hub crime. Crime has always been an issue for the hub in the better part of seven generations. Always growing a little worse, getting a little closer to being utterly out of hand. Only the barons have the influence and the power to put a stop to it. But then again, who's to say they won't just cash in? The barons invest in drugs. Drug trade, ooh. The barons crack down on crime, I like that. The barons invest in weapons. Let's go with crime. And the rich roads, my friends. Yes. I think I just read this one, so. Nice. Very good, very good. Followed up with, after that one, we'll do Gizmo's Legacy. Gizmo was once the most powerful man in all of Junkdown, a vile criminal who unintentionally propped the fledging township up for greatness. With his activities and dastardly business practices, although revived by many Junkdown citizens, the Brahmin barons look favorably upon Gizmo's legacy and continue to engage in many of the practices that made him powerful and wealthy. There we go, cut holes because we can. We only have 70-some thousand manpower, that's all. That's all we got, you know. 
These guys should capitulate soon since they're fighting Lanius. And I don't mind giving Lanius a good chunk here, but we'll see. Um, Imperial Mexicanos down here. That's kind of nice. Uh, they'll probably take on Moctezuma eventually. Are you kidding me? No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Again? What are the devs doing, man? What? <sighs> man. Like, Paradox. Oh my god, this is so dumb. That's why I only sent one army here. I guess we'll have to go to war with the 80s. So for the third time in this episode, we will go to war with Lanius' Legion. 185 days. Um, and In the meantime, I need you guys to get back up here. Hmm, that just makes you feel so good when you take out the Legion three times. And the Civil War mechanic just wants to keep firing and firing and firing and firing. It's so dumb. And again, Lanius, I don't... Does he have... His core's on everything. Oh, that's great. How great is that? 18 divisions. My goodness. This is not great. <laughs> uh, basic foundries would be good. The rich roads. At least Texas didn't get anything, but still. Uh, Gizmo's Legacy. Very good. Give him a few more days to get up there, and we shall read Dr. Morbid's School of Medicine. Dr. Morbid's School of Medicine is the legacy of the somewhat infamous Dr. Morbid, a morally questionable practitioner of medicine who made most of his use of his monopoly. <clears throat> on the medical trade to charge outrageous prices and fund his numerous other projects, among them the institution. Oh boy. So are you guys up here yet? You guys pretty much are. Let's go ahead and go to war. Call all of our allies in. Screw this group. And immediately start attacking us. Well, yep, let's go on in, everyone. Oh, wait, hold on. Desert Rangers, you've got to come in. I will kick you out if you do not come in right now. Alright, well. You signed your destiny there. It, nope, you already wanted... I asked you to come in, and you refused to come in. That is pathetic. I don't... We don't waste around for the Desert Rangers to come in. So, looks like we're going to eat up some Desert Rangers. I do not wait for them to move. Briggs, very nice. NCR Rangers. To me, that's a betrayal. You come in immediately, especially if you're literally our allies. That doesn't make any sense why you don't come in. Keep going in, guys. Beat up the 80s. Keep going, 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 going. Upgrades. Besides, at least this way we can get, um, what was it? What was the... There's a trade note up there, isn't there? Ranger Citadel? Nope. I don't want any of their help. The garbage help. How dare you try to give us help once we ask you to come into war and you refuse to. And then you want to come in? No, thank you. No, 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 no. Gizmo's Legacy, though. And... The Morbid Medicine. I love it. Followed up with... The New Wall. Junk John has always ha he's had an iconic aesthetic, a budding city ringed with numerous walls made from ancient vehicles and wrecks. Every few decades, another layer is added to contain the ever-expanding population, and it's time that the newest outer sprawl be brought within the confines of this layered defense. Very nice. Uh, I think I'd already said, though, like, uh, someone did put in the comments, um, yeah, these demo teams, what was it, the demo upgrade? Mysterious Stranger, no, idiot savant, no, bloody mess. That's better if you actually use demo battalions in your actual divisions instead of just support equipment. It's not really worth it if it's just support equipment, but it's better if you use that if you have actual demo teams in your actual divisions as battalions, so. It is what it is. I just want to try out something else, a little different. Nope, nope. Not bad. Ooh, maybe we could use a few more planes, too. So we're just fighting on the Legion again. That's fine. We'll take them out. And then we'll take out the NCR Rangers because they're a bunch of betrayers. And yeah, not bad. Not bad. How many have died? 15,000. That's not enough. And we'll take everything you've got. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for our allies. Thank you very much. Alright, you piece of the garbage, you're gonna have to die here. Of course, once we get the war justification for these guys done too, so. Even though we have way more divisions than they do. Uh, maybe we'll wait for that first. So, is the civil war over down here? For the love of God, why is it not done yet? Honestly, at this point, like, you, you shouldn't even be able to go to war with these guys. If they're gonna have a civil war, you should just not be able to go to war with them at all. Oh, good, that one's done. Nice. Uh, the new wall. Very nice. Maintenance companies. We can grab maintenance companies too, because we can. 
and then we'll read about the 80s garages. The 80s tribe were once among the most powerful raider groups in all of California, virtual preservationists who maintained their motorbikes with superstitious intention and care. However, the 80s were little match for the NCR military that later pushed them out from their homelands, and to this day, their num numerous garages and temples lay mostly untouched, as do the secrets contained within them. Until we literally just took them out, so yeah. Uh, let's grab some water. Basic well pumps, shall we? We shall. And we're about 10 days left. That's not, that's not too bad. Nothing more profitable than good care of Brahmin. Mm, you know what? We got some guys here. We've captured Flagstaff twice now. How many more times will we have to do that? The Rangers can go burn. They actually have docking rights there, huh? Good. Guys, go right on in if you can. Oh, yeah, put you all down here, huh? That's a really bad idea. My bad. Yes, yes. I'd, I mean... Come on, let's go. I do 25 days, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, if, if they don't move in immediately when I tell them to, like... Then you're not listening. So... Yeah, no, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to die. <laughs> That's insubordination, NCR Rangers. How dare you? Come on, good. All right, let's go and reform this a little bit better. We'll hopefully march all the way up to Dock City, or even New Sterling, which is a lot of trade nodes, which I like, I like, like, like a lot. Good, good, good. And you guys, if you really want to, head on up here. Or here you go. It's a little better. All right, so for the third time, hopefully we can take these guys out. The new wall and the A's garages. Not bad. Um, I didn't need any more of them. My bad. My bad. My bad. Cool. Work to administration. Ah, uh, you know, a little, slightly more autonomy. And we're going to read the next focus. So after the 80s garages, how about barren investment opportunities? The economic power of the barons cannot be understated. And while they offer often feud, when their minds are put to a task, they can accomplish almost anything within reason. Be it the take, forced takeover of the criminal assets, the corruption of the local state, or local police force, or a simple aggressive acquisition of all local competitors. We get sack city investments. Very nice. A lot of manpower. Very good. Uh, hopefully this is the last time we take these guys out, and maybe we want to get ready for a war against the, was it Crimson Acolytes, or Malaya, or something like that up there, so. Battle Bar just seemed very nice this time of year, very, very good. Another task force, thank you. Very good. I'm pushing in pretty nicely, pretty darn quickly, I love it. Uh, I'll take you, can you just make a beeline to get to this group here, right there? That'd be quite good, and get all the way up to there. Maintenance efficiency two, three. Oh, that's up here too. Oh, that sucks. Eh, whatever. We'll get up there fast enough, so not too worried about that. Cool. How much money are we making every quarter? Ah, oh, disabled civil, that's fine. Oh, only 4,200, huh? Is that all? Power on scavengers and Fort, Fort Huachuca. Yes, please, thank you. So we got that done. Lost those bunker. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that one. What the heck? No. Uh, oh, oh, yes, we do. Oh, baby, that's a lot. 53,000. That is nice, nice, nice. 320 factories. They don't jump up any higher, but that's okay. How many divisions do they have? Oh, come on. Oh, it's so glitched. Oh, why? Oh, it's glitched. Why? Three divisions. A lot of manpower, but three divisions. 80s garages, my friends. Mad X. Cool. Grab some of that, too. And after barren investment opportunities, we shall go with the long road home. Uh, roads are the heart of any successful trade route, and for the longest time, which is a great song by Billy Joel, Sac City has lacked a singular reliable route to its outlying settlements and to the capital itself. This is an easy. This is easy to remedy, and shall be re re remedied. It only requires a handful of bribes and an absolutely legitimate acquisition of bulk concrete from Reno. Oh, a bunch of us to get more uh, roads. Love it. Gotta love the roads. All right, we're about to take the capital. No. Hmm. Where did that bike go? Take the pass as well. Oh, 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 the, that have, I guess this state has more victory points here, Dove Creek, than um, Dog City. Okay, that's kind of new. That's kind of good to know, I suppose. Where are our divisions? Guys, just go on up, man. Head on up. Alright. Eh, throw some more stuff here, because you can. 
Not the boneyard. Blow that up some more. Oh, I guess we can. Oh, what's the level of the node here? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, it's only seven. Okay, we got more room for progress. Oh, a little bit of luck. Okay, thank you. Third time in a row. But well, hopefully third time's a charm. Uh, but then again, because of this, then the Texans might want to come kill us. Now, did we actually win for reals, or do we have to come back to Cali California, to Arizona and New Mexico for a fourth time? Probably for a fourth time, but first got to kill off some evil, illegitimate rangers who basically did not want to come into the war when they perfectly would have been fine. We didn't even need them in the war, but they chose not to go to war, join us in our war immediately. Modify foundry, pretty good. We can purchase better trails. Ooh, that's, I think that's different, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Economic resurgence, but Saxony investments. The barons in Northern California might actually know what it means to have all the money in the world as their collective wealth exceeds a budget of even the mighty NCR. When they put their minds and their bottle caps to a task, there's very little that they can't achieve. A strong example of this might be their efforts to gain more direct control over Sac City. Hostile take over Sac City's small businesses, the bribery and direct control of Sac City police, the acquisition of local crimes, gangs, and raider groups. What is that? What is that? Um, private police. I'm kind of interested in that one. Militia? That's not worth it. Well, let's take it. Because we already have enough factories and stuff like that. So, hey, very nice. And let's go with Long Road Home. Very good, my friends. Very good. And we should be able to go to war very, very soon with the evil, lying NCL Rangers. Uh, about two weeks left. Not bad. Uh, the League. Although gathering support has been a challenge, Hayes has begun the process of founding his baseball league. This primarily involves getting wealthy individuals or cities through the NCR to sponsor and train their own teams, which they can put towards a fledgling propaganda machine. We love it. We love it, love it, love it, love it. Seven more ships, there you go. Good luck, you're gonna need it. I mean, I can't believe you'd, be, you know, betray us like this, NCR Rangers. Absolute betrayal. They should be ashamed of themselves. At this time point, time doesn't really mean too much. All right, cool. You didn't come to the war that we would have protected your territory the entire time. I'll go to war with these guys next, maybe? Just because we can. Texas is going to be probably our final boss. I don't... As you can tell from the title, this is the final episode of this campaign. I won't take out Texas last. I mean, I just think the Mexicano is okay and all, but... I'd rather take out Texas, because there's a lot of territory here that we need to take out. And they're gonna, this, is, this is a big challenge. This will be a big challenge. Almost there. That's a lot of divisions. That's a lot of manpower, so... Oh, you want a non-aggression pack? You should have thought of that before you made your mistake. Direct rule from Shady Sands. Now, Reno, you better come in or we'll do the exact same thing. Alright, well, I guess we can go to War New Reno next. Or we go, with them, go to War with them later. You guys force the attack. Kill them all off. You know what? I'm going to go to war with Reno. That'll be the last one we go through. Because they say no, well, then they die. <laughs> God, I should play, like, some sort of more, way more authoritarian regime here. Oh, now you join? Well, too late. You're going to die. Nineteen thousand manpower. They've not lost enough men yet. We do get another trade now, which is pretty nice. Good, kill them all off. Uh, do you guys have upgrades? Where's your upgrade button? Or your force attack? I guess you don't have force attack, huh? That's peculiar. Oh, NCR Rangers, you had you had a chance. I mean, they really had a good chance of doing well, but they said no, just like these guys. Which they're gonna have to die as well. So which one are we gonna go to war with? Is it you guys next? It was you guys next. Ah, 65 days is actually not too bad either. Nice. Turns in acolytes. Uh, do they have any puppets down here? Is it the Murtaugh Reformers? No, no, they're pretty much all by themselves. Imlea, let's see, how much manpower do they have? 7,000, not bad. Pretty good for you guys. Alright. Alright, not bad. We only have 80 divisions, but that should be enough to pretty much guard whatever we need, hopefully. Hopefully. Especially along here, because there's so many waterways and holes. So one massive line there. The special forces, probably another line here. Another line up here, another line over here. Actually, we can just abandon this area and just hold it right there. That makes much more sense. There, there. We'll figure it out. The League. 
Season 1. The first season of Baseball in California has been an amazing success with thousands tuning in to listen to and enjoy the games and heroes being made. Yet one team has risen has risen to absolute fame and glory, the first champions of the first league. Who are they? Good question. Kamal Station's going to die now. Metal Bows. Very cool. Are they attack us? We attack them. You know what? You want to hold? Let's hold first. Guys, come on. Let's hold. Let them attack us. They will run out of manpower very quickly, I bet. Just because they usually don't have that much, actually. So, Emilia. Very nice. She's joined. That's fun. Oh, my goodness. 140 days. That's a long time, man. All right. Well, they want to attack. Okay. So be it. We'll attack them back. And make sure we butcher all of them. All right. Let's go with that one. Advanced well pumps. Nope, I'm not even going to call you in then. And they joined it anyways. No, actually, can we call them in? No. I guess they already are at war with them, so. And even if we take casualties, that's fine with us. It doesn't really matter too much. we got so much extra manpower and equipment at this point. So they started with 17,000. They should be have like 2,000 left. No? They must be mobilizing more and more and more and more and more. What are you guys doing? Just kind of hanging out, huh? Air superiority is very nice. They do have a lot of barrage balloons, but it looks like they're dropping like crazy. Pretty nice. Drop them, drop them, drop them. Good, good, good. Let's grab some of that. Cooling jackets are very good. LMGs. Get some more monoplane fighters as well as Cass. We're going to need a lot more where we're headed. Any other upgrades, maybe? Yes, yes. Ted Monroe. You leave nothing but infantry, so gunslinger? No. Gun nut, no. Inspirational, maybe. Uh, do we I guess technically we did get that one. Just be inspirational though. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Wayne Septonok. Uh, what do we have here? Snoodling Imperialists, fight the power. Ooh, tanks. Oh, tanks and oh that's not bad. Infantry. Take me out to the ball game. Very nice. Melee hacker. Did five percent more attack. Eh. I'm good rooted, because we'll get savage leader. So, take the first of the NCR's official baseball seasons has finally begun. Thousands flock to stadiums, even as thousands more tune in to listen on the radio. All teams are beloved, but there are at least three that stand above the others as actual contenders capable of winning this legendary season. The Old Slug is an all ghoul team that includes a number of pre-war athletes, the 108th 18th Regiment, a selection of the finest veterans of the Mojave Campaign, and the Adams, a surprisingly successful team that has the financial backing of Hayes and his political party. Old World Sluggers, the Adams... 118th Regiment. Uh, let's go with the Old World Sluggers. That sounds good. Fun. You know what? I slide. Let's make a few more divisions here first. We're done with that stuff. Oh, we can't make any more. Over here. There we go. Just make one more. I want one more army before we go to war with Texas. And to the Californian League. Now that baseball is back in the eyes of the people of the NCR, the league is founded and many citizens rally behind it. Stadiums are being built. Teams and lesser figures, lesser leagues founded. A little bit of America has returned to the wasteland at last. Very nice. And even though we can't win everywhere, we're still doing quite well. Kill them all off. Kill every single last one of these people off. I really shouldn't be forcing an attack like this, but you know, it is It is what it is. We've lost... If we've lost 6,000 manpower in the last 12 months, these guys must have lost at least 20, 30,000 men. At least that much. Actually, what, do they have any national spirits here? Not that many. Uh, special forces, blessing of steam... Swiss sauce, lessons for the cathedral. Ritual is cannibalism. Alright. Very cool, very cool. Force them to die. Force them all to die. And Roy Reynolds. Any more upgrades? Go rooted, because we're going to need some more defense. I mean, we have 300,000 manpower, so I'm not really too worried about this at all. Alright, not bad. Up next, other parts of California, perhaps. We can maybe core Glenville. You say Glen, I'm thinking rockets. I'm thinking going to Mars. Uh, Black Wells, we could do that. Trade from Hawaii. Let's go and grab some more political power, because we love the PP. And schooner holes, very nice. Nice. 
And I guess Dago is next, huh? California League, very good. Baseball on the radio. The NCR is one of the few nations with a fully functional radio system which broadcasts important information across the waves. Hayes has commanded or commandeered these stations for two hours every Sunday, during which he has professional announcers describing the games to all who will listen, mimicking the old ways. Nice. Very nice. Eh, get some anti air, why not? I'm not gonna use it probably, but why not? Two suns fully decrypted, very good. There you go. Good luck. Oh, no, we don't need to see this. We're kind of good. Oh, hold on, what is that? 19, huh? Could use more planes, though. There you go. Lots of more planes. Lots of more planes. Drop plane attackers, nice. A lot of monoplane attackers, actually. Let's see if we can cut them down to half. There you go, duplicate them again. There you go, but give me half of them, go right up there. No wonder we weren't doing as well. We don't have enough air superiority and such up here. Uh, let's grab some of that too. That'd be good. Jordan Valley, get some more radio. That'd be good. And promote the node. Nice. More money, more money, more money. Eleven thousand manpower, that's way too much if they have. Let's grab some of that. Advanced ball pumps. And we've lost what, ten thousand? Uh, actually not that much more. Not that much more, which is pretty good. Great news, economic resurgence is good, good, good. Uh is that a core? That is actually a core, look at that. That's actually a core there. It's not bad. And uh, we can't still quite go to war with these guys yet, but we'll see what happens. In about two weeks, quite literally two weeks, we can go to war with them. Alright, so these guys have almost been cut off. Almost. Baseball on the radio. Followed up with, uh, the West will never fall. We aren't impressed by the tyrants who hold sway east of the Colorado. They plot and scheme to seize the lands of the NCR, but we are the torch of the Pacific. Watch us burn. Wait, watch us burn? Hmm. The people of Deglo. The city and people of Deglo are prepared to invest in the future, though it'll take time to reach their des the desired point. Which area of the city's industry is being invested in, and how far or nearsighted shall they be? Nice. Okay, guys, let's come back over here and go over here. Come on, guys, finish them off. And we need to go to war by January 12th. Go, go, go. Now, we should be doing quite a bit of damage up here. Nice. Hey, the divisions are done. Nice. There we go. Um, and another commander, Lawrence Astor. Thank you very much for playing. Uh, I like Inspiration. I don't know. I like Inspiration a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Don't need to see that anymore. Thank you. Proximity munitions. I guess we could make some if we really wanted to. This doesn't matter to me too much. We're going to need way more ride control gear, but that's okay. Schooner's holes. Very good. River barges. Very nice. Alright, you guys say you're done. Actually, you can throw you guys over here too now. And after this, we'll go to War Texas, and then Reno, and call it a campaign, shall we? We shall. You guys should be able to break over through here pretty easily. They don't. They shouldn't have that much manpower. But I could be wrong. Quite wrong. Well. Yep. Oh, there you go. Nice. Keep them in place. The West will never fall. Followed up with the people of Dayglo. Very good. All right. And Texas. That's going to be the, the big challenge here. Texas, Texas, Texas. You guys are pretty good to go. Let's go and not waste our thing of a bob. Call our allies in. Or actually, they'll probably just voluntarily come in. Um, I'm not sure these guys can actually win here. So a little wait a little bit. Let's grab some more air bases around here first. Get some more radar, perhaps, too. That might be really good. There you go. How much more do we need to kill these guys off? They have way too many divisions. 6,000 manpower, 34 divisions, 15. Eh, these guys can still do a pretty good job. Heaven's Gate should be the last one we need, right? Please tell me it's the last one we need. What if we do that? We can do pretty darn well. Nice. These guys are easier than these guys. Huh. Heaven's Gate, please fall, please fall. And we'll have it soon, and we got him. 
Is that enough? That should be more than enough. Oh my gosh, how do they... Is that part of the tree or something? Hold on. They were down this far left side, walking far with me. Twin Peaks, huh? Hmm. Secrets of the gate. These guys are going to get encircled. Come on. This is so dumb. I don't like this. I really don't think this is smart. The Crimson Acolytes should not, should not take this long to take out. Especially when they, when they start so small. This should not be an issue. But you know what? It is, for some reason. Come on. They're not that strong. They're really not that strong at all. Find them, kill them. Alright, do that, do that, do that, do that. Keep going. 1v1, they, you can't, they can't kill you. They can't beat you. Oh, well, I guess they can kill the divisions, but you know, whatever. And you guys should still be doing pretty okay around here. Yep. These guys are pretty easy. Very easy compared to the Crimson Acolytes for some reason. After this, I guess we've got a good war Texas. Nice. Right, so the new industry. The optimistic people of Daglo are prepared to invest in the future, though it'll, be, it'll take time to reach their desired point. Which area of the city's industry is being invested in, and how far or nearsighted shall they be? Very long-term plans? Long-term plans? Short-term plans? Let's go long-term plans. Very long-term plans. And we shall next do rebuilding the fifth thirteen. The thirteen is a name synonymous with pre-war military dockyards, once used by the U.S. Navy to launch numerous assaults on the mainland China. Today, it is a ruin of what it once was, picked clean by scavengers. As dockyards lay empty and his ships rest at the bottom of the harbor, revitalization of the strategic outpost would be quite ideal. Oh, let's hope so. Actually, just put you over here. That's fine. Proximity munitions. PF MRS AA. Cool, cool, cool. Basic aqua fire. Let's grab some uh, basic power plants. Economic resurgence. Uh, advanced aqua fire. Thank you. Ah, uh, what, what, why is it this one so much easier to take out than the other group? Why? You think it'd be the other way around, but oh well. Oh, now we can see that. See exactly. That's what I thought. We lost six thousand. We killed off sixty thousand. This is a bit extreme. Not gonna lie. Pretty darn extreme, if you ask me. But in the meantime, we'll still take them out, and we'll have to prepare for Texas, because Texas is going to be a pain in the, the booty, booty, booty. All right, so let's start down here. Tw Twenty divisions is not going to be enough for this at all. What game? No, I stuck at the other one. I'm pretty sure I did. Go, go, go. Sixty thousand. Yeah, they start off with so little manpower. They get up to sixty thousand. That might be a bit extreme. Oh, we're going to these two armies for this one. This is going. They're going to get hit so hard here. Two, two. 20 divisions might not be enough there either. And then we let these guys all come in here. We'll defend there. One, two. That's Dinta. Oh, can we not reach over here? Hmm. Alright. Very strange. Are these guys dead yet? Yeah, okay. So the Crimson Acolytes, they should have more than enough manpower. Yeah, they, that was the major problem with this group. That they didn't have enough manpower, but apparently they do, so... Uh, keep going, guys. Please don't stop. Please, please, please do not stop. Force them to die. Special versus... Special forces versus special forces, huh? Oh, Captain Plans. Very nice, very nice. Keep going, keep going, rebuilding 13, the Bastion by the Sea. With it poured up and running again, the NCR military has elected to establish a permanent garrison in the area. Further fortifying the city of Daglo while also bringing much needed military infrastructure and arms manufacturing to the city. Pretty good. And since these guys won't give up anytime soon, the Sea Bear. Ooh. Found in a near pristine state, the Sea Bear is a Civil War era ironclad that is in the process of being refurbished by the NCR. An old world icon that shall become both a dangerous vessel and an icon for the NCR's growing naval might, it is said that the ship shall keep both the coast and the Colorado River safe from the NCR naval traffic. Corruption in shady sands? They'll root up the injustice. That's not good to have. Wait, uh, Brotherhood operative? There's no Brotherhood here except for the Washington Brotherhood. Maybe they refer to that group, huh? Can you just force them to die? Seriously. Why are these guys so difficult to take out? This makes literally no sense. We've killed off over, well, 70,000, I bet, at this point. Almost 70,000. Roughly 70,000 enemies. Why Why are they so difficult to take out? Because we don't have concentrated troops here. Oh, my God. Why do you have to... This isn't even... Some of this is core territory. Some of this is not. Why do we have to go so far to capitulate this group? Why? There you go. You can do that, too. Expert Hell's Fighter, very good. 
I'm headed to the ninja lift. Twin divisions. Come on. Can we keep moving? No. Why did you stop? Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Bashing by the sea. And the sea bear. Nice. After that, since they're not going to capitulate, prosperity in Deglo. Following economic reform and economic revitalization, the city of Deglo is prospering in ways it hasn't for decades. Hayes promises that this is only the beginning, and that the city shall continue to rise until it is that as it was before the war. Prosperous and true. Nice. Any more ships? Yes, we do. Very good. There you go. And there you go. Yeah, I've never had this much difficulty ever taking out the Crimson Acolytes before. This is this is this is extreme. This this was extreme. Usually all you gotta take out this area. And not the Timberline, and you'll be fine. But they court all this, apparently. Which I think is a massive mistake. It takes so long to take them out. Why? 60, almost 70,000 more dead people. Insane. Absolutely nuts. Big nutty time. So that's good. This is looking pretty... Oh, boy. Um, they have a lot of power on too. So, over here. What are we going to do? Hmm. I'm going to leave. Seven divisions here. Boom. There you go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right here, too. Okay, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna need that. Can we actually get over here? Dinta, Dinta. Oh, uh, we could lose this area. Force them to come over here. They can't really do too much against us here, though. Uh, technically, we can get over there because of the ports. But, hmm. game. What the heck? Keep them over there. Can you guys actually make it over there? If we don't have to guard it, we won't. So, we'll see what happens. I might go grab some coffee, too. Hmm. So, how are you guys going to get over there? Are you going to have to... Ooh, where's the route? Oh, there is a route through there. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. Alright, so maybe we can do that. We can abandon all this territory to begin with, or we don't have to. We can hold there and hold all the way around here with 20 divisions, and then here, one, two, and then all that. La Junta? Mm. I'd rather just hold here, actually. You guys can come on down. You guys, they can take all this stuff. I might just double up here. This is probably a really bad idea. Probably really, really bad. But, if it's any case, these guys might actually go to war with these guys just because they do own territory that they probably do want. Um, Ironmongers, yeah, they do Republic of Rio Grande. Imperial Mexicano does have claims on them, so we'll see what happens. Uh, you guys are still moving down, which makes sense. You guys are moving down, which makes sense. The Sea Bear is very nice, and we'll grab Prosperity and Dayglo. Refurbished tankers, got munitions, pretty nice. In the meantime, we can probably go and grab one. Uh, a simple line of good stuff here. Could use more civvies, I guess, too. And we'll call one more thing as well. What are we going to core? Core, core, core. More California, probably. 12,000. Actually, uh, Desert Rangers territory is pretty garbled. That's not bad, but it takes a while to get over there. Here's not bad. Area 51, though, is pretty key. Prime real estate, so that's pretty good. We got guys there. You guys are headed down. What the? You were going to take so long to get there. Uh, you guys are already here, which is very, very good. I'd recommend getting at least one more guy over there first. You guys are down there. And you guys are down here. And you guys are down there. You all are ready to go, pretty much. So, you know what? Let me go grab a cup of coffee, and we'll be ready to go to war. All right, everyone, my apologies about that, but we're pretty much ready to go, and we just finished another focus. The Scavengers Union. The Scavengers of the Dagolo have always been the heart of the economy for as long as anyone can remember. And as, as a reaction to the growth of other industries in the area, they formed an impromptu union. This has proved to be both beneficial to them and the economy, as a surplus of metals has been made available. Awesome. But this is probably a really, really, really bad idea, especially when they have over a quarter million manpower, led by Joe Bang, led by the people, and potentially have almost 470 divisions. Probably not a good idea to do this. But let's see what happens. Oh, that's not good. I got a lot of, a lot of manpower, we'll say. Defending, defending, okay, very good, very good, very good. Um, I don't understand why some of these guys are taking so long to get down here, though. 
Those divisions look really cool, though. They actually have their own unique models with the, you know, the Texan Brotherhood symbols on them, which I think is awesome. That's actually really cool. I love the attention to detail. All right, so what else? That looks... Oh, did they break over already? Oh, looks like they did. Oh, that sucks. Um, I don't know why these guys are taking so long. Out of all the groups, why are you taking so long? Even you guys showed up here. Um... There you go. Where are you guys at? You're down here too, which is kind of okay-ish. Uh, send you guys over. Uh, we'll send half of you guys over here. You should be able to defend pretty easily though, right there though. Tugboat, very very nice. Let's go grab some armed craft because we can. As long as it's all pretty much green, that's all we really care about right now. You don't need to defend that if you actually get over here. You can go eat a fat one, Texan Brotherhood, or Texan Union, or whatever you want to call yourselves. Uh, yeah, we could probably use more air bases, actually. Yeah, that was, that was a big mistake by me. I should have put more air bases here. Alright, a lot of red. Not good. Hopefully more green than red, though. That'd be, that'd be much better. You actually do probably pretty well here. Push them in, push them in. Very nice, very nice. Not bad up here. Doing okay. Let them, let them come in. Let them get all that resistance. All that their resistance. Alright, they're still attacking us a little bit. Gene crops are very nice. Let's grab some autonomous foundries. Very, very good. Anything else? Not too much. Oh, I forgot about this area too. Oh, maybe I should not forget about this. Oh, we can see cow cheese. We've lost about 500. Versus 19,000. Wow, 20,000 really. Versus 19,000 here. We've killed our 4,200 of them. 4,500 of them. Not bad. I'm actually holding pretty darn well. If we could actually push in here, that would be extremely good. Can you actually push and do well? You might actually be able to. So we can push them through here and start going through Texas. That might not be really bad, since they are still technically at war with the Oklahomans as well. So, oh, very, very good. They're still attacking. This is probably a really bad idea to, you know, go to war with the Texan Brotherhood. Oh, they actually are flooding through here. Wait, how'd they do that? How, how, what? Well, okay, how is anyone supposed to see that? Seriously. How the heck is anyone supposed to see that? Man, these waterways, I swear to God, they suck. They suck so much. Can you guys hurry up? Let's go, 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 go. Why are you taking so long? Seriously, who's... This, this... Is it this general? Like, what's wrong with him? Is, does he have slowed speed or something? Yeah, he literally does. He has tight nuts. Screw this guy. Go, 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 go. He's... Why do they all have tight nuts? <laughs> what is it? This guy? What about this guy? Does he have tight nuts? I hope not. If anything, get rooted, because you're going to need to get rooted with this this type of crap. Sure, I'll take your division. Actually, no, I'm not going to take your divisions, because Old World Blues screwed it up to the point where if you take any more divisions, like, that hurts your uh, caps and stuff. Alright, so if this is the case, half of you guys got to come over here. And, yeah, no. Waterways, not fun. Just not fun. Go. Kill them all off. Hold, hold, hold. You guys got to push in. And you guys as well. I got to double up on them. There you go, very nice. You actually might be able to get here and trickle these guys too. Maybe not, but we'll see what happens. Oh my god, you're about to all get cut off. Can you... Can you hurry up? My god, please hurry up. Thank goodness for the special forces, though. Uh, gotta love special forces, man. Take that towel and they'll all be encircled. Kill them all off if you can, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Advanced power plants, very nice. You guys, yeah, don't worry about it too much. Just just don't lose. That's the main thing, you know. Scavengers unions are pretty nice. And then Baja Migration. With prosperity comes growth, and with growth comes new faces. Thousands of men and women are attempting to emigrate to Degla from the poverty-stricken Baja. While they are accepted, there are legitimate fears that this influx could damage the economy and our efficiency in the short term. Help them out if you can. Very nice, very nice. Casualties are at about 1,000. 1,500 versus 18,000. Not bad. Not nearly enough yet, but that's not bad. Uh, keep... One division here, which actually probably won't be enough, but whatever. Come on, guys. Stop taking your sweet booty time. Oh my god, please hurry up. Hurry the heck up. Now you're gonna go because I manually forced you to go somewhere else? Come on, that is just, that's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. Alright, so hopefully the Choctaw can continue holding on. They're embracing Louisiana. That's fine. You guys actually did pretty darn well there, huh? You guys hold right here, though. 
Don't leave it. Breaking over river is such a pain in the butt. But what you guys did here was a pretty good job. Pretty darn good. Kick him out of this part of Texas. That'd be good. Are you guys going yet? Oh my god. Move your butts. Overall, not too bad. Not too bad. 43,000 have died. They have 410 divisions. Not good. Hey. Why are you stopping? Why the hell are they stopping? We're, they're on aggressively assault the battle plans, and they refuse to do so. Why? Automation is nice. Um, I think we're all done with this stuff here. Oh, maintenance 5. Thank you. Not bad. You guys keep holding on, because that's... That's pretty darn dangerous. Oh, baby. Come on, guys. Finish up. Oh, we actually got defeated there. That sucks. Come on. There can be no more Brotherhoods, except Washington Brotherhood, which I don't really feel like taking out for this campaign. Guys. Guys, kill them. Kill them. Alright, thank God you guys actually did something. I'm gonna... I, as someone said, did say in another episode, I really wish we could fire some of these leaders, because some of these guys are just so incompetent. Good. Take him out, take him out, so we can come back up here. I'm just going to start pushing this way, too. Choctaw's looking not too bad. They're holding on pretty nicely. All right, and you guys are almost done down here. Good. Kill them all off. And good, good, good. Go in. Force it. Force them to die. Force them to die. Go, 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 go. Nice. You guys actually came up there, huh? Not bad. Not bad, dude. Now, you could get in circle if you do that. So we're going to do this as well as this. Alright, so you guys can actually come up there now. And we might be able to cut them all off. Maybe? Probably not, but maybe. Have you guys stopped attacking? What's wrong with you guys? Alright. Any more rangers? Yes, we do. Or, I guess, spies. Gloria? I guess we do Gloria next. It's fine. Go, go, go. Well, they've lessened... Oh, well, look at that! 379. They were at 410 earlier. Not too bad. Baja Migration. If you guys can go on in, that'd be great. The recent crisis in Baja has, has left thousands of men and women displaced or looking for a better life in the NCR. The acceptance of these men and women could vastly increase our population and eventual growth, but could also deeply harm our economy due to inflation. The volume of people hit let in today's globe must be regulated in some way. All are welcome. We shall put limits on immigration. We only accept the best. All are welcome, because we can. Because we can. Combat barges. And this might be the last focus, Super Mutant Migration. Super Mutants have rights in the NCR, but are rarely welcome. Hayes has advertised Baja as a place where mutants can find freedom and wealth and employ good and good employment. Unfortunately, this message was received in the ways he hadn't expected, as hundreds of mutants have now moved into the city. What does one do with so many brutes? Probably not call them brutes, but I could be wrong about that. What? They're done attacking me? What? What do you mean? Nice job, guys. Nice job. Keep on moving through. That's good, good, good. Because, my goodness, we are struggling down here. Wowzers. Keep going, guys. You're doing a hopefully okay job. They're still attacking, which is good. Over here, they stopped attacking for some reason, so I don't know why. But whatever. Down here, we could use some more special some forces down here, too. Um, Equipment-wise, how are we doing? How are they doing, actually? Send gifts cap, uh, resistance suppression. Stockpile. They are out of a lot of stuff. Oh, they got a lot of stuff still, though. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright. I mean, we got more than enough manpower, don't get me wrong. Still. It's a radar over here, too. That'd be good. Um, keep pushing over. Good, good, good. Alright, so you guys will do fine. I want you guys all to come right here, too. Let you guys do what you need to. Oh, the Chocta's still fighting them. That's good. Here, you can have a gift. We got 6,500 caps or NCR dollars, so we're kind of okay with that. Alright, they're still attacking. Anyone else have upgrades? No. That sucks. Anything? Nope. Okay. We're gonna get some paid soon. Um... 
We invest some money. Let's hold on to our money. Oh, crap, for now. Uh, enable weapon station, seal beach. Excavate the lab. We'll wait and do that one too. Nice. Go right on ahead. They are still attacking us down here. Even if we were to attack, it wouldn't be very good for us, but we could try this. That's not bad. We could try a general assault. It probably won't go great, but as long as we have air superiority, it should go okay, right? And you guys are also up there too. What's going on? Huh. Let the special forces go as well. Guys, go. The pass, huh? All right. Not bad. Maintenance five, cool. That time go on doesn't really matter. Come on, more soft attack, yes please. Super mutant migration. From all across Baja and the NCR, Dayglo faces yet another wave of super mutants approaching the city. Right here by promises of wealthy quality in the occasional unstable area filled with radiation. We should script the most stable mutants unfinished. Okay. Heavy labor would, be, would suit beings as large as them. Not bad. They can work in those irradiated work plants. Now that's usually pretty good to do, but we have enough resources I think for now. A lot more construction speed. And I guess that's it for the focus tree. Great. We got through the entire thing. And we're only on peacetime core. Okay. I didn't realize that. What do we have here? Uh, reconnaissance? We'll get more reconnaissance. We could probably use that. And now we can only get 2.3 political power every single day. Not bad. All right. These guys are still holding on quite nicely, actually. So if everyone's struggling here, that's okay. 41,000 manpower is pretty good for that nation. These guys have lost a few more divisions. About 10 more. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. You guys have nothing to do? Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, I don't believe that for one single second. You guys should be able to come through here and start pushing through this area, too. Because this is just incredibly bloody. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Ted Monroe is wounded. All right, so be it. Oh, we can encircle all of them. That sucks. We're still kind of winning. Sort of. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. They're actually pushing us back a little bit. Not good, not good. They really should not have this many supplies, but Texas gets kind of OP, man. Kind of OP. If that's the case, alright, let's change more soldiers. Keep going, keep going. Force him to die, force him to die. Still spread out pretty badly here. We actually lost a division, wow. Come on, Chocta, keep it up. Keep keep doing what you're doing. Oh, what the hell are you guys doing? I need you guys down here immediately. Game, game, game. I click on this, and it doesn't do it. Get us in there. We gotta go. You don't need to leave. Just go up here. That's all you gotta do, man. A few more divisions killed off. Oh, crap. Let's not get They're gonna kill us off here. We've actually lost a few divisions. Crap. Texas, come on, man. Texas has way too many divisions. Get out. Get out. What are you doing? You big dumbos. Don't get encircled, man. Escape. Escape. I'm literally telling you to escape, but you're not escaping. What are you guys doing? Get back down here. Hold. And push back out. Push back out. Push back out. Purified aquifer. That's fine. Fabrication laboratories. is fine. Actually, you know what? You don't need to escape. Because as long as we can hold right there, that's the most important thing. And we're coming back from the north, so. Hold. Hold. And keep trying to kill them off. We got encircled again. God dang it. God dang. Taking out Texas is a terrible idea. Especially after taking out Lanius three or the Legion three times in a single episode. Not very good. 341. Still over a quarter million in manpower. I guess we have a little bit less than 300,000, but still. You cannot stop attacking. You gotta keep going. Keep going. Any other guys here? Wait, who got it? What the heck? Alright. Go ahead whenever you can. Come on, man. Keep beating the crap out of them. We probably need more planes, too. 
Mm, no, we're actually doing pretty well in planes there. Pretty well in planes there too, huh? Oh, now you guys are gonna join? Hmm. No, give me half you guys. There you go. Half you guys there. Half you guys go over here too. There you go. Man, these division templates kind of suck, not gonna lie. Keep going. Keep going. Are they gonna come to the. Oh, boy! Well, got some of these guys in circle. That's kind of nice, actually. They deserve after the crap they pulled on us. Are you guys gonna come over and help us out? No, they're not. So they can go die in a hole. And we're gonna lose some more guys because our generals are just completely stupid. Completely stupid. You know what? You deserve to lose your, lose your divisions then. Rangers force the attack. Kill them all off. And they've lost 120,000, but they still have another, what, 250,000? Wow. Insane. That's a pretty good encirclement, though. Very nice. That's coming handy. Kill every single last one of them off. Because that's what they're doing to us. And our generals are incompetent. Good job, guys. Cool. You guys keep going that way, but we got an incompetent general, so you gotta go here. Yeah, I don't think I agree with these armies being limited to 20 divisions per group, so I don't think that's really good. They, I think they should make it go back to 24. What? What 20? Is there a reasoning for that? Is there a good reasoning for that? Because it seems pretty good when it's 24. I don't know. Alright, they have how many? Th less than 300? Well, we're doing a good job killing them all off. Taking a long, long time. Choctaw's doing very well as well, so thank goodness for the Choctaw Nation. Keep going, guys. I don't want to abandon the line, but we have to because our generals are just so incredibly incompetent. It's not even funny. The sheer incompetency of our generals is just astounding. Alright, 40 more divisions. You honestly don't deserve any more divisions, so... Uh, big sadness. Big sadness hours. Okay, so you guys come on over here. Under this garbage general. I don't want to hire anyone else. Uh, over here. Tight nuts. Minus 5% really hurts you really incredibly badly. Uh, actually, do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, and go here. And just go right on ahead, because this... I mean, if it was me, I'd hang this, this general for being incompetent. Like, just sacrificing divisions like that, man, that's not cool. Oh, we lost another division there. Well, because of his incompetency. Oh. Uh, go, 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 Chocta. We love the Chocta. Go off all the Provisional Republic of Texas, please. A bunch of corrupt Brotherhood sites and individuals. You know, we were nice to the Brotherhood, and then they betrayed us, so... You can't trust the Brotherhood. Bringing back civilization to the wastes. What a fat bunch of garbage. Cool. That really doesn't really matter to me how long this video goes on at this point. I want to kill off the Brotherhood. They must die. Alright. Five more divisions. Well, I really don't want to send any more soldiers that way, but we kind of have to. Um, right there. Look a good fit. Thank you. Keep going. How many men have we lost? 20,000? Makes makes sense. I mean, we still did very good so far. We cut off over 100,000 of them just by ourselves, so. Are you guys done? Are you smoking something? you got to keep going. There's no waiting here. It doesn't matter what happens. You keep attacking until they're dead. Or you're dead. Or we're dead. So. Come on, keep going. They've only 284. Texas, Louisiana territory is gone. Good, good, good. Look at that shock donation coming by. Very nice. They're about halfway. Roughly halfway to capitulating. Nice, nice, nice. Force them. Force them to die. And make sure we've got some more air bases around here, too. That is our bread and butter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And lots of radar, too. Intel can make or break your wars. Cunning Desert Fox. Oh, we're out of command power. Alright. Research. Very nice. 
Good, good, good. Nice. There you go. I don't think in future campaigns I really want to take out Texas. Or at least take them out before they, you know, become the Provisional Republic. Probably a good idea to do that before they do this. That'd be cool if I can invite the Choctaw Nation to our alliance. Send a war with a gift. Yeah, I can send him a Caps gift. Why not? More than just gambling? There you go. Have a gift. What the heck is going on up here? Oh, or these guys are going to be cut off very soon. That's nice. What are you guys doing up here? Just take the tile. Now get out of here. Scram. Mystery cave, that's fine. Go in there. Oh, maybe in course something else, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, come over here, that's fine. Glenville. Thank you. These guys are almost completely cut off. Come on, go in there. Please, please, please. Economic resurgence, good, good, good. They have less than 262 divisions. Not bad, not bad. Why did you let these guys live? Guys, guys, what the heck? Go in there, kill them off. Come on. Keep going. Don't don't ignore them. Are you guys just going to stand here or what's going on, man? I know there are only five divisions here and these guys are completely cut off, but still. Cool. Let them starve. They deserve starvation. Nice. That's pretty, looking pretty good. Oh, more land out attack. Economic resurgence. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, crap. They're coming through here. What the hell happened over here? Guys. You never trust the AI. They're just not. It's just not a smart thing to trust the AI at all. There, just keep making more divisions then. What we'll do fine is just. I trust the AI too much. Less than 240 divisions, and they're still not giving up. Unreasonable demand. Nope. I mean, we're almost... We're literally pretty deep in Texas. And even Colorado now, too. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Please, just don't get in circle. Come on, go in. Go. Oh, God, it lags so hard. You try to grab a couple divisions, and they can't even move. Good. Keep going. Two hundred thirty eight divisions. Cut off almost a hundred and fifty thousand of them off. Come on, Jokta, you gotta do a little more than this. Seriously, how are they still being able to hold on? They should be completely broken by now. Basic melee weaponry. They're not even using that. Wow. Pursuit. Worth saving. Very good. Nice. Do that area. You guys are doing well already. You guys come up here. And you guys come up here. Lone Star. Oh, we're getting close to Lone Star. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you guys think you're done? Huh. You're nowhere near done. Now this is pretty good. Thank goodness we got this general here. This general is not too bad. He's slightly competent. Compared to a lot of our other generals. God, I feel like playing Lannis again, just crucifying our enemies. Oh, baby. Where is the rest of your army? What are they doing down there? What the heck? Come on, link up with the Choctaw. Come on. God, this guy is so incompetent. Oh, are we actually out of sauce? Oh, look at that. Huh. Come on. Why is it us that has to do everything here? Choctaw, come on. Do more. How are, how, I'm sorry for complaining, but this is stupid. This is beyond stupid. They've barely killed anyone else compared to us. 
Come on, man. Let's go in. Let's kill them off. Please, just, just kill them off. And I don't like that our allies have given up on us, too. Alright, so cut our losses. That's good. Go back over there. Uh, gotta wait for some more... No, oh, nope, just going. Support fire vessels, very cool. Wonder of the pass. There you go. Sure, you guys can come in if you like. Great allies that we could use. Ooh, we're about to get in circle here. God dang it. And we got in circle down. We're going to lose some more divisions. Good job, you incompetent Lo Lawrence Gilbert. Completely incompetent, man. Good, get out of there. So you guys are nowhere near done. Keep taking more Texas. That's much more important than Colorado. 100, they lost 10 more divisions. I mean, don't get me wrong. We lost a couple divisions here, too, but... You, you think when you lose 200,000 men in a single war, you might give up. You might give up a little bit. Resistance suppression. 176,000 manpower. Insane. Absolutely insane. We've literally killed off half of their army. Almost half. Of their entire army. They're still not giving up. Help them out. Help them out. Choctaw, come on, man. The only reason why they're not dead is because of us. Ballistas, not bad, not bad. And you definitely ain't done yet. Keep pushing up south. How are they not dead yet? My god. They're definitely not dead after you take Lone Star. They're, it's barely. It's just barely going any higher. Uh, Alright, Lawrence, you're done. I I'm getting rid of you. You suck. New commander. This guy might be slightly more competent. Maybe, maybe not. Feels like the Union here in the early parts of the Civil War. Just incompetent commanders. We should have more air bases than this, right? No? Hmm. Get some more air bases. That'll help us out. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, come on. Keep going. Do you guys have any more manpower left? They still have quite a bit. Still have quite a bit. 137,000, not bad. Why? Why would you form the line like that? In what universe would you have just one tile there after we just did the entire front line there? But these guys are almost cut off in Colorado. Almost. So close. This office is looking pretty good, though. It's that's good. Oh, that's nice. Let's grab some of that. Some more special forces, heavy stuff. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, hurt our nomadic, uh, nomadicity. That'd be very good. Wonders of the past. <clears throat> but that's incredibly disappointing that uh, our allies are refusing to do anything for us. What's the point of having allies if they don't go to the war with you? Not against you, but with you. Like you know. 127,000 losses. Come on. Good. These guys have been all cut off. Davy Crockett Division. Good. That's pretty nice, actually. That flush fills out a lot of empty holes we have in the line here. What the heck are you... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, we got the Alamo. That's pretty nice. How much more is there to take out? This is almost... This is not as bad as the Crimson Acolytes, but that was pretty bad, too. That was pretty darn bad. Just just kill them, guys. Come on. They're not that strong. I mean, maybe they went down to some particular land auction. Do they usually go... I don't know. They might go Asymmetric Warfare, or they might go Refined Warfare. Or, you know, maybe they did go with uh, 
conventional warfare. I kind of doubt it, though. Kind of doubt it. Come on. Come on. Any day now. Anyone there? Anyone there? Can you just kill them off? Oh, oh look at all the stuff we got here. Oh, we, we got a lot of manpower, too, though. You want to beat our guys up? All right. Well, die. Are you guys doing anything? Come on, Chocta, please take Dallas. You're so close to taking Dallas. Yeah, I don't know. I'm this I don't think I'm ever gonna take out the Texan Brotherhood again. It just takes too long. Just takes too long, man. There you go. Not bad. Pretty good. Jesus Christ, what the I'm about to get rid of, get rid of this entire army. Just gonna get encircled like this. That's fine. Uh salvage PA. Pretty worthless, but whatever. I don't think it's still get through the waters. Maybe, maybe we'll survive. If they do, it might, it might be a little bit of a miracle. Are we done with the war yet? Come on, man. I mean, this is... 67% of the way there. I mean, this is stupid. This is beyond stupid. Yeah, I guess that Texas, you know, if united, Texas would be extremely strong, but this is just... It's a bit too much, I'll be honest. It's a, it's a bit too much. Uh... No, either you get down here and go all the way down there and win, or you're just going to die here. I don't care at this point. You, you don't have options to rest. You literally don't have options. Go. Go, 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 go. Um, I do that too. Just in case they're really incompetent. How do they get Lone Star back? Man, come on. Both go in there. Both go in there. Come on. I said both, all three of you go in there. Wow, pathetic. Ugh, oh, infantry, not that great. How many have we lost? 38,000, 40,000? Yeah, no, that's so dumb. Come on, keep killing them. Come on, Reynolds, how are you losing this badly? South Texas, North Texas. They have no planes. Chalked off. For the love of God, why do you suck so much? Just take Dallas. It's just one simple city, man. At least special forces. We can kind of count on special forces to do well for us. How are we doing down here? We're doing okay. Oh, thank goodness for the motorcycles. I'm so glad we did not get rid of these guys. Go, 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 go. The hell are you doing? Just go down there. Just go down there, guys. Come on. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, guys. Zoom, zoom. $8,000. Not bad. Not bad. They're actually getting pushed out. Oh, my God. Choctaw sucks. They really suck. Scavenge PA. We'll grab some of that because we can. Don't even bother me with that stuff. You guys are definitely not done. But good job. This, this, group, this group actually did pretty darn well. I'm kind of proud of these guys. Armor reinforcement doesn't really matter to me, and we'll grab some of that. Able manuals, cool. Not even using them, but whatever. All right, you guys got to move somewhere else. There's too many guys down here. Move up here because Chocta is incompetent. Holy crap, they are incompetent. Oh my God, special forces, you did a great job so far. Don't get me wrong, but guys, come on, let's go. Let's keep going. Lost fifty thousand, roughly. Their losses are not enough. It's literally not enough. Oh, one division? Okay. We'll take one. About half a million manpower. Not bad. Keep going, guys. You're not allowed to give up. How have you been pushed back that far? That's ridiculous. Push him back in. Push him back in.
least this is not looking extremely bad. Oh my goodness. So many bad generals. You think 5% speed would not be bad, but apparently it is. <sighs> Alright, special forces, you did a pretty good job, I'd say. Hop out down here. Guys, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, that's pretty bad. The chocolate sucks. They're not going to get anything out of this beast deal. If it wasn't for us, they would have all died a long time ago. And what are we missing? Portable radios and empty tank. Well, that's not good. Oh, what's that? Portable radios, empty tank. There you go. Mm, there you go, five doggos. You get some more uh, radios. That's pretty nice. My god. Texas just keeps pooping out more soldiers. Can I just die? Please, just die. Guys, be smarter. Don't fight harder. Be smarter. Just go up there and encircle them and kill them off that way. Now they're cut off. They get a little bit of supplies because they have that victory point, but that's alright. That's okay. Border. The Murtaws? No thanks. I hate border disputes in Old World Blues. Just remove them. Unless it's a very. for a very, very specific nation. I do not like border disputes. Eh, in base game and TNO, other mods make sense. And for very specific nations, yes, but. Old World Blues. It can make sense, but. Mm, they're just not very good. At least at the time of recording. Maybe we'll get better later on, but still. Alright, so we've basically done everything here. It's basically all of us, so we're going to take everything we can. Hopefully. And I did say we'd go to War New Reno, but at the very least, I'm kind of done with this campaign. What we're going to do is I'm just going to kick him out of the faction, and if we were to continue this campaign, i just kick him out. Straight up, just kick him out. There we go. Finally, thank God. That, that, that took too long. That literally took too long. Texas, it makes sense why they're so strong, but that, it kind of killed my mood for this campaign. But, oh well. But I don't think anyone can really contest a bear at this point. Not bad. California's a little bit bigger than what I imagined it to be, but whatever. Kick up action. You deserve nothing. But if you enjoyed this campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.